Hi everyone and welcome back to My Creative Ego. So today I have another Hobby Lobby haul for you guys today. So for most of you, this image right here is very reminiscent of the pink passport paper pad that a lot of us picked up last year. But this particular one is actually a 12 by 12 scrapbook album and it does have that expandable spine because it only comes with 10 sheet protectors but you can always add more later on. So it's not the exact same image. So as you can tell, the one on the scrapbook, she's wearing some necklaces, she actually has red hair, and then she has darker shades in terms of like the green on her nails and the buttons, her lipstick color is different, and then she also has like different set of headband and the lip color. And I really wanted to find all the sticker sets that were part of this collection, but I didn't find any of them at my store. But I did find these 8x8 scrapbooks, or actually they're called albums, which is actually a funny story. So when I went to go pay for everything, scrapbook albums were actually 50% off, but apparently photo albums were not. And this one just said album on it. And then when you open it up, it's more like a scrapbook because it doesn't actually have like the sleeves for you to put the photos. And so my cashier didn't know whether to give it to me for 50% off. So she had a call for a manager and the manager was confused too. And I understand because the other one actually said scrapbook album. This one just said album. It didn't say photo album or scrapbook album, which makes it even more confusing. So it's not cut and dry, but they were super sweet and they gave it to me for 50% off anyways. So I was super happy that I got it for that discount price. Um, and then I just want to share with you guys, I know you guys have already picked up a lot of your punchers and this was actually a video that I had filmed a few weeks ago but the file got messed up and I couldn't post it and so I had to refilm everything and it took me a while just to kind of, you know, get back into actually doing a lot of these projects because the video that I lost was literally hours and hours worth of footage and then it took me hours upon hours just to cut those down into minutes and so I know a lot of you who have your own channel, you guys kind of know that when that happens, it's just like, <gasps> <laughs> you know, <laughs> so I hope you guys don't mind. You know, I'm sorry that this video is a little bit late, um, but I hope that it's still helpful and that you guys can still get some creative inspiration from it. Um, so if you guys are still interested in seeing some of the punches that I picked up from that sale, and of course, some of the projects that I made with it, then I would hope that you will continue to watch the video. Um, so the first one is this puncher right here, which is the reindeer puncher. And it's actually pretty funny. I wasn't gonna pick this one up because I thought the image was pretty small until I turned it around. And it says that it's actually a three inch punch. And I think it would look really beautiful when you punch it out like on embossed paper for like Christmas cards. Um, but there's so much more that you can do with this. So I know a lot of you probably didn't know that you were buying a three in one punch. So, of course, you guys are all familiar with the fact that you guys can make reindeer from this. You can also create your own little ears and turn the reindeer into a deer, or you can keep one of the antlers and turn it into a gazelle. Or if you want to, you can actually just create a little card that says, hello, deer, because you know, that's pretty punny, isn't it? <laughs> okay, let's go move on. Um, the next one is kind of like a hybrid of these two punches. Um, so you can see that the traditional punch in the center, that's the way it looks, but you can actually take the bottom of that cupcake and then you can double it up to make like a full cupcake so you don't actually have all of those like negative space on there. And then you can actually use the other puncher as a little cupcake topping. I'm not gonna dwell too much on this one because there kind of was like a Michaels video that I did a while back that was somewhat similar to this. So I'll put that in the description box down below if you need more ideas for these particular punches. And as you can tell, this is the paper puncher for lips. And I know a lot of you guys have hauled this. And so a lot of you guys are probably focused on just the lips. Um, but did you know that if you guys kind of turn this around that it could actually double as a mustache? <laughs> um, so yeah, um, just ask these guys right here. What? Huh? Oops. Oh no. Why? Oh no. <laughs> Um, and then I'm also excited that Easter is coming up, so there's also another way that you can use this as well. You can take your little Easter egg and decorate it like a Mr. Potato Head like this. And it's actually pretty funny. Now that I think back on my childhood during Easter time, it was always like a lot of potlucks that we had. So potlucks among a lot of your family and friends. And then we'd always be at a park. And then they would hide all of the eggs like in whichever place they would hide them. 
And I gotta tell you guys, the excitement over boiled eggs has never ever crossed my mind until today. So I was happy to have experienced both where it was just like the boiled eggs and then your basket was really, really heavy and then along came the plastic egg and then that just like changed the whole entire game because now everyone really wanted to look for it because it was filled with candy and then you could carry more because it wasn't as heavy and then it was also filled with little toys. Oh, the memories. <laughs> I'm getting off topic, so I guess we'll continue the sweet talk um, with some donuts. So this was unfortunately the only puncher that I got that was a little bit of a dud. So um, this one actually had, it punches out and it punches out all the confetti or the little sprinkles and the donut gets stuck inside the puncher. So I had to actually use like my little paintbrush, the end of my paintbrush to open it up and it does work. It just doesn't work as you would like it to. And then every now and then you get a little fuzzy donut like this. So I don't know if it's the puncher or the paper, um, but basically, yeah, you can make donuts. You don't even need the puncher to make donuts. I've done a tutorial where you can make donuts just by drawing them out, and it's so simple. Um, but I just really like to have it. And plus, it doesn't necessarily have to make donuts. You guys always know that I am always looking for more uses out of my punches. So you can always do wreaths. So you're gonna start off by punching a green donut out of here. And then you're gonna take that green donut and trace it onto red paper. <laughs> and then you're gonna cut that out and then you're just going to start layering. So you choose your bow. And you take that and you layer it on and then you should have a little wreath that looks like this. Another thing that I really like about this punch is that when it punches it out of your paper, all the things that it punches out can also be used in other projects. So you have your donut and a wreath, you have your little circles or your donut hole, and then you also have like the confetti or the sprinkles that you can reuse in other projects. And speaking of reusing and upcycling, um, so you guys all know that these punches came in these little boxes that look like this. And I did show a different version of this on a previous video as well, um, but I wanted to share this with you guys one more time just in case you didn't catch that video. But basically you can upcycle these boxes. I used decoupage paper, which you can also find that video in the description box down below. So I wanted to share with you guys how I decorated this one because I'm super excited about it. So I had made my cousin a t-shirt and she's also a coffee lover like me. So her says Tina's coffee. And so what I wanted to do is actually create a box that would go with this. And I'm so super happy that I got this little donut paper in the mix. And then I was able to actually embellish it. So everything you see on here is actually embellished with some paper clips as well as a belly band. And it's all things that she can reuse, like the little paper clip of the donut, paper clip of the latte. And I don't know, it's just the perfect pairing, coffee and donuts. And you guys know I love donuts. So I think I'm going to wrap the video up here only because if I keep talking about donuts, I might end up making some in the kitchen because I really, really want some right now. <laughs> um, but I won't do that because it's too much of a mess. And plus it's really, really, really late. So I don't want to clean that up either. <laughs> As always, I hope that this video provided a few LOLs for you guys to start your week off with. And I thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you all have a wonderful day. And roll on down to my newest videos by hitting subscribe. <laughs>